another day of Aristea. Yep. Here with Saturday Night Heroes on Maui. Thanks for joining us, and we're going to see if we can have a good ball here. Oh, well, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping you also didn't get too many of the rules wrong this time. <laughs> uh, we do appreciate the Feel free to point comments them out as and we feedback. Go. Um, I think um, our uh, beloved redhead uh, is going to be watching the stream for comments. And when I say beloved, I mean tolerated. So anyway, we've got uh, two groups going here. I'm going for some guys I've never played before, one of whom I've never even seen on the table before, but I'm going to try them out anyway. Uh, so I'm trying out Dart the Archer, who I've never seen, but I like her good range, and I like her combination of abilities using poison for damage and that type of stuff, which is why I'm bringing Hannibal, because he synergizes well enough with some of her and... Uh, Senior Massacre's abilities, so I'm hoping to get some good uses out of there. And I just like Cosmo very much last time, so I'm hoping to get some more similar use out of him. So uh, actually, uh, not a particular cohesive design, but some fun stuff. So uh, I guess it's uh, Adepticon's going right now, uh, which is a big gaming convention. And what's uh, one of the things Corvus Belli showed off actually is the uh, design sketches for an alternate sculpt on Cosmo. He looks really nice, like a Kind of like a, a big medieval knight sort of thing. So I'm looking forward to actually, I actually really want to get that one. Cause, uh, the Cosmo sculpt is good, but I don't like it as much. Uh, this time around, I've kind of swapped things up a little bit. Um, Pavarti and Major Luna are both from the core game. Uh, they're very solid characters. I like them a lot. We've seen a lot of Luna. We have seen, seen a lot of Lu Luna. Uh, but two characters I've yet to actually uh play on stream so far is uh, Prism from Human Fates, same as Dart. Uh, she's a kind of a tank, but uh, it's going to be really interesting. And then uh, Tao Wu, and he's uh, from the Smoke and Mirrors expansion, and he's kind of an odd control sort of character, and the big thing with him actually is messing with your tactics deck. Gotcha. So, um, so we'll see how this plays we'll out. We'll see how this goes. So right now it looks like you've got a 19 initiative. Yep. Um, I, on the other hand, have 20. So it looks like you're going to be starting off as the uh, underdog. I'll be the underdog for starting off here. Okay. So um, are we going to, first off, are we going to put in the obstacles in? Oh, yes. I completely forgot about that. There we go. So the uh, nice thing with the Arisea rule book here, of course, is they show the and basic we map. We, uh, we are going to be putting them down in specific locations. So we're starting, I tend to find it easier to go like this. It is the same orientation. Yep. So that's going to go right about here. And we're going to put this right about there, I believe. And it was there, right there. Okay, that looks good. So uh, we've done a number of uh, mistakes revolving uh, around disengage and such. So um, hopefully, feel so free to chime in yeah. and let us know uh, if we make any mistakes. Okay. But as underdog, uh, so we're starting in one and four. We're going to start in one and four. I'll be in four because that's just more convenient for both of us. So I'm hoping all everyone's having a uh, good weekend. Uh, we just got done with the radio show a few hours ago. Uh, we had a astronomer on, uh, Dr. J.D. Armstrong. Oh, that's always fun. Yeah, he's a definitely a favorite of ours. So let's do it like that. Okay, and we're gonna shuffle and draw four. Yep, and one more good shuffle here. So, uh, also, if you're watching this, I assume you like Aristea. There was a game announced, um, and I believe it was called uh, Defiance. <coughs> I could be wrong. It's the big black N that Corvus Belli has been uh, taunting us with for the past uh, month or three. And apparently it's going to be a cooperative board game. So, uh, that's going to be coming to Kickstarter. I'm really looking forward to seeing more information about that. Um, if I can get it at a reasonable price without crying too much, I might actually pick it up. So, okay, so we're going to go ahead with our first initiative tr my four. turnover. I'm at four. I'm at six. We're going to be... Funnily so enough, I think Prism's going to take it. 
So um, I would like you to go first in oh. that case. I can do that. Yes, you can. The chance of him getting that close an attack is actually pretty good. But the whole point is to get things into good position to start with. So we're just going to have Cosmo do his uh, meteoric charge so he can move a total of eight. One, two, three, four, five. He's only actually going to go seven because he wants to start contesting the area. And that will be it for Cosmo. One meteoric charge. Okay, so we're actually just going to go ahead and use a prism. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. She's going to go straight in the middle. Nice little sprint. No fear. And that'll be it for her, I do believe. She does her sprint. Okay. So. Okay. okay. That's done. That was it for round Next for turn the first over. person. Yep. Second person. Five. Dao Wu. T we're tied. Uh, Your underdog. I am underdog. So decide. I'm just looking to tell a marker we're on round one. There right. Ah. So, we're going to have El Senor. So, here's how Senor is going to do it. His taunt has a range of three, but he does need line of sight. Correct. It costs two to do the move. Now, I'm assuming this is one of those situations where you might decide to let Hannibal activate his taunt, but we'll see how that right, goes. Right, exactly. I so just want to get into a position. Uh, actually, that's not a bad place for him to be. He's going to do a double movement, which also gives him eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now, Anything else, it's sir? two to move. Two to move. Two to move again. Correct. Meaning he still has one, one energy left, point. I so he's, he's got, got a taunt with a range of one. So I'm going to try to taunt you. Huh? By all means. Uh, just a straight up orange. I just need a success. Correct. It's a simple I got roll. a success. You, get it? Now does you have been taunted. Uh, does his switch activate? Uh, El Masker's switch is a single exclamation point, which imposes a taunted state. So it's uh, we're done. So if I can have you a taunt, have been please. Taunted. And he so. laughs and waves his body parts in your general direction. Well, of course, that's what he does. And that will be it for the senor. Okay, so Thalwu is uh, actually a very interesting little guy. Hmm. Big scrum in the middle. So I'm just doing a real quick look. Uh, joys are getting older, folks. Bifocals. Gotta love them. So uh, he actually does not move very fast. One, two... Three, four, five, six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So he actually cannot uh, do much more. there. Correct. Now uh, that said, he can, however, um, use hallucinations to blue dice. If he gets a success, uh, he can actually place a smoke down within range one or two. And I think that's going to be kind of important because you got ranged people. I got one success. If I can get yep. a smoke token, please. If you rotate it, you'll actually see. Smoke yeah. token. Yeah. So we're going to put that right over ah. here. Yes. Uh, How's it going? No, we're uh, doing assault. Uh, we tend to favor that one at this time just because we're still learning a lot about the game. We only get actually get the chance to play uh, every week, every other week. Although I'd be so willing to try next time. Yeah. If you'd like to do it as a king of the hill. Absolutely. Nope, in this case, we're just bum-rushing the center. Yep. Since I've got a couple of good melee guys, right. I figure I'm going to try to get them into the scrum. So that'll be it for uh, Tawu. And since he's got smoke right there, I'm hoping that'll help defend him against keep, keep Dart. Keep breaking line of sight. There well, more to the point, I'm looking at that. And, oh, that was a mistake. I really should have placed it right here, but too late for that. It's within so three? His smoke, uh, his smoke is between uh, zero and two, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. So he could place it right where he is. Because his it goes out five. That's impressive. He's got a very good smoke range. He's okay. He's got actually. Well, I believe smoke. that's it for the second persons. Yep. Moving on to third person. 
That's how we talk. Okay, uh, so Major Loon for five. Major Loon for five. You're the underdog. Who would you I like to go it. first? Okay. So, by all means. How do I want to do this? Uh, what is now? Looking at hexes, does the Senor have line of sight on? I would say he does. Just going off of this vertex, those he can see the. Vertex? I could. I, I would say he can see those two. Okay. So are you going so to taunt me? Hannibal. Well, Hannibal's going, so he's going to need to do, because I believe his, oh, no, this program doesn't have a range. So no, he can't do that from anywhere. That's nice. Okay. Uh, that's one of the nice things about Hannibal, actually. So In which case, I think what I'm going to do is Hannibal is first going to do a move. Very reasonable. To get out of that area. I want to stay in a fairly safer area. I don't like your sniper coming around, so I think I'll stick on this way. He's going to move out four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Because he doesn't actually need... Uh, Line of uh, sights. Although it would be helpful because he gives other people the orange die. Correct. But in this case, we're still moving up into position. Right. Now he is going to do his program strategy and do a two-point thing. But I think I'm actually going to poke you because his weapon attack is only two points. Correct. So he can trigger that. Now, he doesn't have line of sight, so it's going to be his normal attack roll, which is a red, an orange, and a yellow. Okay, so Prism, being the... It's got a green and You're two... You're already taunted, so yes. don't have to worry about that. Yes, uh, you actually... I believe he, if they're taunted, he gets an extra die. You're right. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay. Said it before you could. Okay. Uh, wow, I did lots and lots and lots. Wow, this that negates that completely, I believe. Uh, no, actually, it is a critical. Oh, it just automatically success. gets so in. So I do not get to cancel that unless I had a green one critical success. Uh, well, I got a total one, two, three, four, five stars on that. And in fact, I'm going to use the switch to nullify your only shield. So all five get in. Okay, well, uh, during the switches phase, actually, what I would Might do... Might I say, holy crap, that was a nice hit. <laughs> so, uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to use... Uh, so, it, it switches, then resolves. Okay. So, um, I'm actually going to spend uh, my switch mm -hmm. uh, to taunt Cosmo. Ah. Now, she's a little different than... Uh, her switch uh, taunts a little different that enemies ta taunted by you uh, that can perform an attack against you must attack whenever they can. Yes. Which means you even have to use Contender, the worst attack in the game. Right. So, and at the end of that... Unfortunately, he has a supernova, which counts as an attack. Right. But the fun thing, too, is with uh, her other ability, Guiding Light, at the end of your activation, after the state trip... Oh, forgot to do that. Impose the marked states on yourself. You don't actually need... Uh, line of sights to ah, attackers. Gotcha. Um, I will actually need to grab. Sorry about this, folks. But we're going to get you. You need uh, also I need five marked. wound markers. Um, Roadrunner is saying that um, when the order of activation, the active player switches resolve first. Ah, okay. So. So first I negate that. Which means then I would not be able to do my switch. That's fine. And now all five stars come in on you. Which I believe will actually be enough to take her out. So um, you will take one point of damage unless you have a shield, which I'm sure you do. Yes, there is a shield in the okay, mix. Okay, so Prism just went up in a puff of smoke. And that was a total fluke, but I'll take it. Two, yeah, we'll take that. No, that was a great roll, and that shows uh, you the utility of taunt. And that was the so. end of his Hannibal's go. Okay, so uh, we are going to... I get a frag token. You... Uh, Get one frag token. Please remember to draw your tactics card. Yes, thank you. So, so what we're gonna do here then is Major Luna in all her glory. Okay, so you're gonna like this one then. I'm gonna play. Uh, stick to the plan. Search okay. your deck for a tactic and put uh -huh. it in your hand. I am gonna go ahead and look for. Everyone's absolute favorite, uh, which is 
catch your breath. <laughs> so I'm going to shuffle my uh, hand really quick. And uh, you get to draw a card, and I get to draw a card. Oh, I will take it. Would you mind cutting, sir? No. Okay. I will draw a card. So my additional card, very nice. So I'm going to play Catch Your Breath. I'm and draw, draw two more. Draw two more. So Major Luna's going to go one, two. One, two, three. Hmm. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go right about here. I've got line of sight. I Shoot would you say? I guess my question is: Is do I? Would you say I have cover from that position? Uh, well, you're you are partly obscured. Seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that would be on Senior Massacre. Right. Senior Massacre is ready to accept your gift. Okay, that just does not sound right when you. Oh, like he that. loves this kind of thing. This I'm is what he lives for. Well, dies for at least. Well, he is going to add another blue die to dodge. Of course. So now I'm going to start off with one automatic success. So it's a blue, a green, and a black. Uh, since I do have cover, I'm going to take that, convert that to, I believe it's an orange. Now his natural switches can oh, trigger from this. Right? Covering so no, <laughs> you do not have cover. Okay, there I was go. looking at that one. So Okay, no. Well, that one's not between fine. you and me. Ah, so. okay, okay. So I thought you were trying to get cover behind that orange, one. Orange, so I've got a red, two oranges, one automatic success. Oof, one shield, a lot of incoming. One, two, three, four, five, six points of damage. And that kills Senior Massacre. So I don't think anything else is going to reduce that, and he's only got four mm. hits. Now, if you do look in your hand, he does. his got one special ability that might actually save your bacon right now, one of his tactics, and it's the Epic Regeneration. I do not have that in my hand at this time. I will not complain. So, so he goes to the infirmary, and you get a frag token and a card. Yep, which I already and just he's drew. He's going to get the I negative two energy when he comes back. One, two, three, four, five. Did I draw it? Oh, that goes there. No, <coughs> I did not. There we go. Okay, so this is uh, turning out to be oddly even. Yeah, that's, that's we like those kinds so of games. Okay, next up, we're last go this round. I've got Dart. I've got Pavardi. So Pavardi has got a four, you've got a five. If you'd like to decide if you want to go first or not. Pavardi's thing is two to six, and it's just a zot. Correct. Now, it is daring and not necessary after state step you may impose hidden on yourself if you're ad not adjacent to an enemy and that costs zero so she can do that after she moves. Correct. Yes? So she's going to actually move twice. She's going to spend four points to move eight. Four, five, six. To make sure we're contesting the zone and you are not. No, uh, if you may want to rethink that because I'm not actually in the zone. But I'm worried that Pavardi wants to be. Ah, and this fair would prevent enough. her from getting into the zone. By putting fair you enough. here, you won't have enough movement to get into the zone at all. Okay. No. Nope. That's what we're trying for. She's not the one who teleports over with people, is she? Uh, no, okay, she that does not. That, that that because yeah. <laughs> then you just teleport right that, in. That would be a uh, Hexer does can do some some of these shenanigans. Hexer pushes people around. I was thinking right. the one who has the movement that leaps. Oh. Um, but that's that was Gato. Uh. Gata does sort of, then uh, Bixie has something else. Regardless, that's right. what she does, and she camouflage. Right. That's a great move. Okay, so I'm looking at this position. Um, I'm just going to have to go ahead and get set up for next round. Um, round three, end, of end of activation. Right. And Hidden's actually kind of an interesting uh, yes. state. I'm making sure I've got the core right next to me. So uh, so he cannot have a line of sight to me unless he's within a range of one. Uh, however, I cannot get a benefit of cover. Uh, remove this state immediately after performing attack uh, at the end of the action, since she didn't perform an attack. 
Uh, neither enemies nor allies can have a line of sight, so I can't hit her with buffs and things. Uh, targets affected by sight still block line of sight. Interesting. So you can't target her, but she can keep you from targeting the guy behind her. So we're just going to... Gotcha. Go ahead with Pavarti. One, two... Three, four. That actually makes her very useful against the ranged yep. snipers and things. Except right. for Luna, who ignores cover. But right. No. Who doesn't need line of sight? So don't think I can actually do anything at this point. Can't really attack. No one to heal. So Pavardi is. That's that's four, five, six, seven. Might as well just have her running. Eight. Gee, where might you be putting that? <laughs> well, and I believe that's the end of round one. That's the end of round one. So you're going to get uh, three victory points for that because you have the entire... I have it uncontested. Have everything all to yourself. I will enjoy it while I can. Yes. So let's keep that okay. to the side. So you're going to get to draw two cards for the end okay. of round. I get to draw one. Hmm? Oh, Thanks again for chiming in on those rules, we keeping do, us we posted. We do appreciate that. <laughs> playing the game is great, but playing the game properly is even better. Yeah, so um, I believe he's actually in Arizona. Oh, well then thanks really for cool staying so up and yeah. enjoying an evening <laughs> game in your time. We do appreciate that. So uh, he's going to be brought over to this side with a negative two energy state. Okay, as is Prism, if I can get a... Uh, You've got the energy uh, states. So minus two for you. I already got one. Thank you. Oh, okay. But I have a feeling I may be needing more. Uh, Santa Fe. Santa ah, Fe. Ah, okay. Nice. My uh, memory Let's is short and not good. <laughs> so. So let's okay. actually do it like this. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and say that, um, so I'm underdog, uh, the new scoring zone is actually going to be four. Four. We got to get to four. Okay, so uh, we're in round two, so are you ready? I am ready. Okay, flip over. Cosmo. Tao he's got a five, so we're going to go ahead with that. One. How long did your smoke last? Two, I believe the smoke is going to go away at the end of his turn. So let me, and I've got the smoke card right over there. So well, you right can look it up when I'm when I'm going, if you like, or right. I'll look it up while you're while you're taking your turn. Yeah, there's a okay. fair bit of stuff right there. So Tao just moved uh, right up there. Line of sight beyond one. Yep. Every line of sight to a space the smoke becomes blocked. Don't provide cover. At the beginning of the deploying character's next activation. Since he was the de one who deployed it, that's when it goes away. Right. Yes. Yes. Uh, Tao Wu is a little bastard when it comes to disengaging, which is uh, wonderful for me, actually. So okay. we're just going to go ahead and use Paralyzing Terror <laughs> on, like the sound of that. Uh, yes, on... Uh, on dart, okay. it is not technically an attack, so you cannot defend against it. I need Sounds one. Like I need one success. Yeah, I got one success. I got one success, and I got. And you did your switch trigger? Yes. Okay. So first off, my switch. Uh, well, what's the effect? The effect is um, impose immobilized state to the target. Immobilize your on opponent dart. may choose and discard a tactic to nullify the effect of the switch of this action. Uh, effect of a switch, uh. and the switch being is a uh, actually imposed uh, imposed the immobilized state to a target within range one through four. So I guess it can <laughs> double up. Oh, so so the attack itself immobilizes, and when the switch so triggers, somebody else immobilizes. I can immobilize, a but I can person. discard to prevent the switch one. 
Correct. So she's going to be, but if you then use the switch to mobilize him, I can discard to prevent his immobilize. Correct. Is that what you're doing? That is exactly what I'm doing. Well, that's what I'm doing, too. He is not immobilized. Okay, but she will but be? But she is immobilized. Is utterly I'm fantastic, darned. and I'm quite happy yeah, with that. Yeah, she doesn't like being immobilized. Well, no one does, really. Okay, Except Maximus. It doesn't really matter to Maximus. Immobilized. So immobilized right over here. Okay, that'll be it for uh, Tao Wu. Cosmo, now if he moves around at all, that's a disengage. If he tries pulling Correct. back, that's also a disengage. Now that's I it. may just try to beat the crap out of you. No, and I will say that if you attempt to disengage, or if Tao Wu attempts to disengage from you, he automatically triggers his switch. He can't actually do either. Interesting. <laughs> so I would have Very to spend strange. a tactics card for him to get away. So, no, he's a little rat bastard. Oh, you need cool. to be careful with him. Cosmo, ignore smoke. You're not dazzled, and you're not on a place with smoke, so never mind about that. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to try to beat the crap out of you. Aww. So, he's going to spend two points to supernova in your face. Now, is that a red attack? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, you may defend against it. Okay, so uh, I've got... Uh, I actually uh, want Tao Wu to live through this, oddly enough. And I really want you to hurt on this. So I'm going to add another orange die to that. Oh, you jerk. Ah, because smoke isn't an attack, and it only costs one, it would and block then he gets the bonus. Side. Well, the important thing I think actually, too, would be I believe it would block... Um, let me see. I believe that would block my line side, therefore... But I could be wrong... See, here's a combination of order operation and rules and interaction. Targets inside a space with smoke cannot draw line of sight beyond range 0, 1, or use your defense rolls successes to inflict damage. So you so wouldn't be able to hurt, even though you can absorb well, some of the uh, damage. I could hurt. It's so let's one do one. that. I need to roll a success. Uh, whoops, wrong one. Uh, right. So right, uh, for attacking somebody in the smoke. But first, I have to put the smoke up, which is one success on a yellow and an orange. It's range of zero to five. I'm putting it on that hex if all goes well. I did not get a success. Fortunately, it only costs one, so I can try again. Not a bad course of action? I think I'm going to, because it's kind of important that I hurt you as bad as I can. Well, well see, then comes the question, hit you twice or hit you for a little bit harder? And uh, that's always going to be a choice. I think I'm going to try to hit you twice. No, that makes sense. So um, this is I where I'm using the extra orange to get that. I'm not getting one because he's not in smoke. Since I missed the smoke roll, and I'd rather so take two different attacks. I'm going to add focus to add a yellow. We'll see how this goes. Uh, Tao's defense is terrible, and right, let's he, uh, see what we can do. only has two health. That's fine. I'm trying to smash him. One success. One success. Two success on my end. Uh, so, uh, that's and I get a trigger, so I can place a smoke. I can place it on you, even though it doesn't count for this go. For my It'll second swing, it will count. So I'm not going to do any damage to you. However, okay. I do Did hit my switch. And you do take one point. Correct. I do hit my switch. You need to discard a tactic, please. Oh, that's annoying. Dawu is a very annoying character. Uh, there's a Facebook group for Aristea, and... He's a key component mm. of the most annoying team ever, which I read that, and it's like, gosh, I'll never run that. I'm actually going <laughs> to do it like this. That's a good one. I hate to lose it, but I hate to lose these others as well. Right. Okay. So that was swing number one. Right. One point in, you're now in smoke. Right. Swing number two, you are in smoke, so I get the extra orange. Correct. It's a red, a black. Uh, oh, did I roll the wrong dice for that? Right. I think I rolled the wrong dice for the last round. Okay. Well I do uh, apologize. No, go ahead and re-roll it. Uh, I got, was it one shield? I just realized those weren't the same dice right. here. That was the dice for those. Okay, let's try that again. A red, blue, a black, and then I that was the one I, I paid the orange for. Okay, and I so think that's first what I had, so go ahead and roll uh, Since I'm re-rolling, I'd be willing to let you re-roll, because that's only fair. Uh, we'll take your card back then. Well, I'm, I'm going to use this card for the roll. No, oh, okay. the for the discard. You're right. You're right. right. Okay. 
So, we will both be rerolling, unless you would like to keep the discard. No, that's fine. Uh, wow, that was terrible. I actually <laughs> did much better that time. <laughs> okay. So, you are still going to end up discarding a card, though. Yes. And I will still discard the same one. But this but time I do enough damage, I think I finish you off. Yeah, the important thing to note with Dawu, though, is um, you don't get to draw a tactics card ah. for sending him there. But I do get him off the table, which you is do. good enough. Right. Uh, and he still has two active points left. So you can move now. I think I'm going to. It's in target four right now. Correct. Yeah? I'm not going to get anywhere near there. I am thinking I probably should have uh, picked someone a little more durable to go along. I think I am going to have him move his three, though. One, two, three. That's good movement. Okay. That is it for Cosmo. Frag still contains no card. Correct. Got it. So did you get the frag? I did not get the frag, but I did get did not get the card either. Cosmo got the kill. There we go. Them. Okay. Thank you. Nice. So uh, Tawu's already had his fun. So, so that was it for go. the first person. Right. Second person. Prism. Art. You got it. So Prism's going to come back she with a minus online. two. Oh, She's going to come there. back right there. Surprise. Uh, surprise factor zero, I believe, is the correct term. So now she doesn't have that much energy at the moment. But we uh, do know that Dart is immobilized, and I am adjacent yes to Dart. Yes, she is. So um, I'm actually going to attack. And since I'm immobilized, there's not much I can do about that. Right, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and attack uh, Dart. So that's an orange, that's a blue. I that's immobilized, I don't get a and defense. That's yellow. Uh, no, you get Oh, a I do, I still get a defense? Blue Can't and yellow. Move. And some characters actually benefit from that, but no, you get a defense. Blue and yellow. Two shields. Okay, one, three two, hits. three. Uh, My one back on you is bounced by your one shield. Correct. So in However, I can spend, oh, but if I spend a shield to do that, if I use a shield as a switch, does that mean I don't get it as defense? Correct. Got it. So it's the, uh, one of the balancing aspects of them. In which case, I think I'll just uh, use the two to absorb two of your three and only take one hit point coming in. So Unless uh, you have something to enhance your damage. Uh, one point of damage coming in towards me. Yep. So um, I'm actually going to go ahead and so I don't think you can. You could attack Major Luna. I don't want that. So I'm actually going to impose the taunted state on you. Oh, Dart is taunted. Dart is taunted. So taunt. She's immobilized and taunted. Um, <laughs> so she howls in frustration. Uh, Prism goes back to being marked. Especially because her attack has a minimum range of two, so I yep. can't actually attack you. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip over, so that next turn will be minus one energy. Mm -hmm. Your turn, sir. Okay, well, Dart is both immobile and taunted. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw two tactics. Naturally. Because that's a good thing to do. Well okay. You had your uh, hand diminished somewhat, so. Gotcha. Okay, well, that doesn't help. Now, if I'm in melee with you, does that mean I can't shoot at other people? I'm taunted, so I have to shoot at you anyway. You are uh, taunted by prism, so you have to. But you would need to use c you would you would need to use contender. You're right. Which is because I can't. Now, could I risk a free strike by backing off to shoot? You are immobilized. You oh, are I'm so. You're, you're immobilized. I'm going to punch you with my weak little fist. You are quite heavily bombed. I have a single blue. Uh, no, no, contender. Oh, contender does a. So it's not totally worthless. So it's not a uh, brawl. Right. It's range one to eight, three energy, and takes. Gives you an orange die. So I got a single orange die. Well, that's Correct. better than a single blue now, die. Now, um, actually, let's go ahead and get some clarification right here. Does Hannibal have line of sights? Does that come into play? I do. Uh, both of those things mean none of the vertices no, no. get through. This doesn't, but that doesn't. Oh, this does not. No, no this this does. That prevents line of sights. Yes. 
This does not. Oh, You're I thought that through. did prevent no, line of sight. No, you can see through that. It just gives him cover. It does not give cover. You cannot move through it. It can be targeted. Okay. So In which case, yes, I get the plus one. Uh, the gallery is saying that dark must attack first. Uh, well, the uh, the question is whether point, is point man is coming in with him giving her the extra orange die on the attack roll uh, if he's got line of sight on prism. That's the question. Which I believe you do. So instead of a single orange die for contender, it would be two, two orange, orange dice. dice for contender. Correct. Which is yeah, you have two vertices, right? Yes. See, I had thought that also blocked line of sight, which, which is why he wouldn't not. be able to. But since it does not, then yes, he should be able to see. So I get two orange dice. And I get two <laughs> hits. And you get one, one hit. One hit, and you got one shield. And from there, I'm just going to go ahead and say, um, how many successes do you have? Let Two. So but you're removing one of them. How far away is Hannibal? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Or five from me, six from you. Okay, so uh, we're just well going to... Mm -hmm. Nope, she is far enough to the side that I've got two vertices here open to two vertices there. I believe that's how we do the line of sight. Right. So, um, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and not really do anything. I don't have enough to but either fuel way, her switch. You take no damage, but I believe I take one damage. Because does that negating this whole this die, right? This negates the whole die. Which means so I don't get the shield out of it either. Right. So I do take one point of damage in. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. The smoke doesn't block dart. So. Uh, oh. But it would block him. Can't see line of sight through. <laughs> so okay. I got zero strikes on you, and you got one back in on me. Okay. Because you're you, would green. You, would it you would have been that? No, I'm willing to go with that. Okay. So the uh, dart is the one in the green cloak. Yeah. Yeah, the green, but the, the smoke green here arrow. is blocking Hannibal, so he doesn't get the point man bonus. I should probably make something to. Well, we'll ask the, the three D printer guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dart should have only taken one point. And she has two health. Oh, but you did two. No, because you only had one star. So I was only one point in on me. Right, and I negated. So as far. And she'd been undamaged to that point. I don't remember her taking damage. She was immobilized. She didn't take right. damage when she was immobilized. I, I did not damage her. I don't think she's dead. I hope she's so not I dead. I don't believe she's dead. I totally could have missed something. It happens. Uh, you, you'll notice I'm doing this a lot. I think that was the first point of damage he took. Right. If we are wrong, let us know. Definitely, definitely. But uh, no, one point got through, but that was it. And that was be it for Dart. Correct. Now, question. Right. Silent Death, uh, I mean, the, the fisty cuffs was three points, right? Um, so she should still have two. Correct. So she could do her thing. Of course, you've got enough hit points, it's not worth it. And which thing is this? Remove a state token to inflict damage. Prism has two state tokens on it. So if I remove one, she would take a point of damage, right? Correct. The question is, is which one do you want to remove? Because if you take off marked, you know, then that is beneficial to you in some ways. Um, whereas if you go with this, prison would be at full power next turn right. as opposed to negative one. How many hits does she have? Four. It's not a bad choice at all. I think I'm actually going to. I'm going to pull off your negative one energy token to inflict one point of damage. Uh, let me roll two yellows and get a success before you start hitting those around. Right. I did not get a success, so okay. you don't have to roll more around. Uh, does your uh, switch activate from that? Uh, her switch has no effect on this situation. Okay, that's fine. That is it for Dart. Okay, next. Favarti and Cinder Massacre, I believe you will be going first, sir. He's got a negative two energy token. Correct, he can come back in any zone except the scoring zone, which, which is, is four. four. So he's going to pull your trick. Very nice. And attack Pavardi. Nope, that's perfectly reasonable. 
Okay, mm. so the first thing we're going to do is spend one point to taunt you. Naturally. You are taunted. So now I spend his remaining two points to hit you, but he gets an extra orange because you are taunted. So I'm going to go ahead and play focus mm. to add a orange. yellow to Pavardi. Yellow. So red, yellow, orange, plus a second orange. Yes. <laughs> uh, three successes. Okay, so take your best die and remove uh, this. This one is removed. Okay. I still have two successes. I've got one, s uh, one success to you, cancel by your one shield. And your one shield cancels my one of my successes. So that's one point in on you. And uh, Pavardi switches go switch goes off. I'm going to get a plus two to my initiative. Okay. Next so uh, no, that was you're already really taunted, good. so the switch has no other effect. And I've now got you in melee. Uh, that is the end. Oh, I do have a switch. I nullify one shield. Excellent. So you do take another point of damage. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. That's two points on Pavardi. You did have a switch for this situation. Excellent. And that will be it for the massacre. He now flips this, so next turn he'll have negative one energy. I'm learning how to play. Yes, you are. Very rude of the, uh, my bad. So the uh, trick I've got, of course, is I've only got so much uh, energy to go around and so much But you've got a couple extra right now. Or for next turn. Initiative, anyway. Right. So, uh, unfortunately, where you are is highly undesirable for me. Um, I still have no way of getting to four, which is irritating for me. Uh, she well attacked. Moreover, she is adjacent to an enemy. She can only impose. You cannot. Uh, yeah. Uh, on dart itself. Yeah, at the end of your activation, after the states, you may impose hidden if you are not adjacent to an enemy. Correct. Which I am. She's right next to Prism. So. Adding at you with her little tiny fists. Yes, it, it it does happen. Sure, she's got a bow. Sure, she's got an arrow, but no, she's she's. She hurt herself. When yes, she tried to yes, attack. yes, she did. She hurt she herself did. trying to attack. So this is uh, what we're gonna do, actually. Pavardi does her thing. Pavardi is going to uh, try healing herself twice. Fair enough. Actually, we're gonna do this once. I don't necessarily want to. Uh, no, Pavardi is currently taunted, therefore cannot shoot Dart. Uh, she's she's she got to go to after Cinder Massacre. Massacre. But because it's just taunt, uh, she doesn't have to She can attack. do things first. So uh, that's success. a success, which heals one. Um, I could do that again. I don't think that would be very wise of me. So she is going to try and disengage from Cinder Massacre. Uh, so I use a brawl roll, I believe. Correct. So blue okay. and a yellow, and I'm looking for shields. Uh, you're looking for shields to counteract my uh, successes. One success. One shield. Okay, so I do not get away. That's two energy done. Uh, you know what? That's uh, not much for me to do at this point, although I will go ahead and spend my last remaining points. Do you want to heal that last point? No, I'm not going to heal oh. damage. That's two points. I'm going to try. Oh, oh, no. Actually, I was wrong. Um, Medkit is one point. So she did that. She tried to attack. She's got three spent, two left. Um, I think it will be much safer for me if I attempt to reset. And what that's going to do is take all the states off of her, which is going to cause me to lose my bonus. But... I get it. Do I get an exclamation point? I did. So I actually get to re-up the switch by get rid of the taunted. Gotcha. Because knowing my luck, Senior Master would actually have a chance to take a swing at me again. So Could be. Yes. Uh, because obviously handles last. Are you ready? Yep. Luna, who just needs to step sideways and take the point. Yep. Which uh, we're going to... One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Might as well. Mm -hmm. 
So Major Luna does have uh, cover from that. Okay. So she would normally get a black die. She's got line of sight on poor El Massacre. Well, I don't think there's anything poor about him. I think he asks actually for I most of what happens. Broke, hmm? Never mind. Yeah. Uh, so he's probably getting great royalties from that movie he wasn't in. So my defensive role is a green and a black. I don't think I've got any other defensive things here. Green so and black. Yeah, sometimes I like to add uh, offensive cards to my defense. Oh, that's good. So I've got one success plus. Okay, he that was ignores you completely. pathetic. He ignores you completely. Hmm? Pardon me? Uh, what happens is she can choose to give up the benefit of cover in order to actually roll in, uh, in orange instead of the black. So it's, a v it's offensively minded. Uh, I believe it's like yep. Master Marshall. Veteran Marshall's. Sniper. Yeah. Any black to an orange. So I'm going to reroll one of my dice, and I'm going to reroll the red die. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Going for the bracket. One. No, not enough. Okay, so, yeah, that was just... <laughs> <laughs> Massacre doesn't even realize he's under fire. That was pathetic. <laughs> uh, th this is true. Yeah, pretty much. I'll have to taunt her next. So, um, you. Yeah. I don't even have to taunt her. She's already shooting at me. So, um, finally, is Mr. Hannibal. Got that? It's gonna Mr. Hannibal next. Um, so now he has no chance of getting anywhere near the scoring zone. Correct. He has no chance of activating any of those things. So does he want to do this or that? I think I'm going to do this. You are no longer taunted, are you? Uh, yes, but uh, the number of... Um, I still had three still shields three to the two successes. Three blocks. So I, it still came out fairly terrible for me. Uh. <laughs> but it's good to know to make sure we include yes. her extra star. She has an auto star. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to have to slide over there and have you keep beating on poor Pavardi. Can I get line of sight on Pavardi? Yes, I can to give you that extra edge. So I'm going to send two to move four so I can see Pavardi. And then three to let him smack Pavardi. Okay. Since you are not taunted, but you do ha he does have point man, so that's still going to give him a red, two orange, and a yellow. I'm uh, very glad I made the call I did earlier on. <laughs> so, uh, Pavardi, Pavardi, Pavardi. She's got a blue. She's got a... Okay, you know, she simply is not going to... Oh, would you look at the all the cards I don't have. Okay. Are we ready? We're ready. Uh, four stars, four shields. Ooh. Anything I can do about that? Do you, uh, I'm actually going to re-roll one die. Not the yellow? Uh, which one has more stars? I thought the orange had more stars. Uh, the orange does, but you had, uh, what did you have in the, that orange? Uh, I just had the two stars, okay. and then both okay. of these were blanks. Okay, nope, that's fine, that's fine. That's why I was going to re-roll the orange as the one card. Oh, but however, also, there's another thing going to take into effect here. Which My switch removes one shield. Uh, who switch? Uh, El Massacre. I believe. Actually, that's a good question. For Do the switches not trigger during... Mm. It's part of the action, isn't it? No, that's actually... It's not his personal switch. Right, it's the one on the attack. Right. So I'm not sure if it would be his or if it would be Hannibal. And Hannibal doesn't have a switch. Right. That might be why he doesn't have a switch. Uh, I'd be willing to go with that until we get a clarification. So, right. So, right. Okay, two we'll anchors go with that. Shield, so, so, one point gets in on me. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, but I believe there are no other triggers for Mr. Hannibal, so Correct. that is it for me. And that would explain why again. Says no, it is, it is massacre. Okay. So it does trigger. Okay, yeah. And so one point in, and I believe that's it for the round, and you get three because you have it uncontested. Yeah, so you'll be getting the underdog this go around turn. So draw one card yourself. Moving I'm going to draw round three. two myself. Moving into round three, it's a tie game. Okay. Yeah, it, it 
that does make a lot of sense when you consider that Hannibal himself has no switches. So where's going to be a new scoring zone? I'm uh, actually one, one and two are quite good. Uh, it'll be three versus three for at the moment when um, Dao Wu and... I have nobody dead oh, at the moment. Oh, you've got no one. Okay, yeah, so I've only got one person in the infirmary. Yes, three versus three. Uh, we're going to put the scoring pin on one. No, that makes uh, absolute sense. Okay, and now we will get our people in order. Okay. So Dawu's going to have minus two energy on him, poor guy. But you have two plus two on your initiative for what's her name? Pavardi. Pavardi. She's are the cheesiest. Are we ready? We are ready. First turn's going to go to? Hannibal. Okay, so. Um, I've got the underdog, so I'll take you're it. You're going to go first. As much as I'd love to do it that way. much as I'd love to do it that way. Uh, it's so tempting to take Pavardi. It's so tempting to attack. But no, I'm going to be cheap and cheesy, and he's going to just run and scurry his little way back to the scoring zone. No, see, uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, I would actually disagree with that. Cheap and cheesy would be forcing me to stay in that side and dragging it out one more turn. See, I was also considering bringing it the scoring point over here so that I could just try to hold that spot and you know, finish you right. off that thing. But instead, we're going this way. So no, that is it no for Hannibal. That makes sense. Hannibal that has that one that point and nothing to do with it. Right. So, uh, and he's effectively blocked his own line of sight, so he won't be handing out any point man anytime soon. Personally, I'd rather have the three scoring points. Okay, so what we're going to do ahead is go ahead and use uh, take aim with Major Luna, who is obviously going to try and put a hole into a... Who are you holding? We are going to uh, put a hole into Senior Massacre. Ah. So that's an orange, an orange, a red, and one automatic success. And I get a green and a black. Oh, and since she has benefited cover, get a black and convert that to, to yellow, an orange. orange. I am getting my... Occasionally it shows on color. 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 Let's see if we can get One. a repeat of that horrible roll. Uh, that's about Two. darn close. One point in on me. Any switches? Uh, for her, I would need two exclamation points. Actually, no switches. One, two, three. Versus three points in versus my one shield, so two, two hit points in on L Massacre. Yes. And because I'm an annoying person, I'm going to go ahead and use... Uh, for my next go, I'm going to use Suppressive Fire, ah, which will give you minus two movements. And slow him down. Well, there's also the chance that uh, it'll actually uh, do damage. Oh, okay. This is not an attack, though, is it? It is not an attack. Okay. Exclamation point doesn't do diddly or squat. Okay. I am not suppressed. You're not suppressed? Help, help. I'm being suppressed. Help, help. And that that's it for the it. first go. So next go. Okay. Oh, which Second round person. are we in? This is round three. First, okay. So next, turn over. Pavardi. Ah. So <laughs> Pavardi is going to go first Sorry. because she's got six. Because you're at six. So what you going to do? Well, first off, she's going to try healing Oh, Dark's not immobilized anymore. That's right. Because it flipped over at the end of, the la at the end of right. her last okay. turn. Okay. okay, so first off, Favari's going to try healing herself. How much health is the Massacre mm. at there? He is at two out of four. Two out of four, okay. There's a taunt. So yeah. There's a taunt. And after Dark mm -hmm. hit you, she wouldn't be taunted anymore either, right? Hmm? After Dark smacked you, she wouldn't be taunted anymore. Well, um, I, removed the the I removed the states off of her for her ability. No, no, I'm talking about when Dark hit you. Dart's taunt went away. Dart went 
I'll ah, take a longer time. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 So attempt to heal. Five. Vardy is healed. Still not in good shape. Um. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So really, I can't do much from that. So what we could do would be very foolish. Is I could actually use contender on you. You could try and bunker. That would be a terrible idea. Bunk so I'm going to actually try and get away from you. Uh, we're going to do an orange versus um, versus my brawl, which is a blue and a yellow. Correct. And I'm looking for shields. One success. Three shields. Oh gosh. Yeah, I am still stuck. Um, I'm going to. Refresh Pavardi's. Uh, it's personal trigger would be true, would it? What is it? On an exclamation point, you're taunted. Yes. You are taunted. I am taunted. I got a taunt. You got a taunt? You're taunted. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, there are. It's good variety on these guys. Yeah, so it'd be a. Uh, I'm looking forward to this year's uh, run of expansions. I've got the Chemical Brothers pre ordered already. Anything else for Pavardi? Uh, Pavardi is just going to go ahead and try to remove the taunted state on her. Um, Probably a good idea against him. Yeah, just because I don't think I can reasonably get away at this point. So success, yes. Mm -hmm. And so taunts removed. So he's uh, hoping actually, he can survive my retaliation. Yeah. So. And that's going to stay, and that's going to flip over. Your turn. Okay. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That She cleared that off as well because it's all states. Oh, so she is totally state-free. Yes, which has well, its ups and downs. So yeah. Senor will go. He is down one energy because he was recovered last go, so he's got four. Mm -hmm. Do I want to just hit you twice? You probably want to hit I at least do. once. I'm going to try hit, well, it's whether I want to try pre-taunting, that kind of thing. I think I'm not going to try any shenanigans. I'm just going to try to hit you in the face. Well, there's a good chance that uh, when you attack that you will get your switch, get which will taunt. taunt. Exactly. So. so first swing is taunt-free. But I do a heck of a lot of damage. Remove you remove your best this guy? one, I assume, the yes, two strikes one. Absolutely. I'm going to cancel So one, one blocks once, and your and shield blocks your shield. Right. Now uh, but now I do get my switch. So you are taunted. Just need one exclamation point? I just point? need one exclamation okay, point. Okay, so I'm back to being taunted. Now, when I use the other two points to hit you again, I get an extra orange. Oh, and he healed at the beginning of his turn. Yeah. Don't That's forget that. Point. Don't Sorry. forget that. Yeah, it's, it's easy to do. Oh, terrible. Oh, you know, I had a critical right until the blue hit that. That's okay. It negated anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> happened. You're still taunted, though. I am still taunted, and my uh, one attack is, uh, is negated. success is negated. And I don't believe I got anything else I can so do, that's so that's going to be it for him. Okay. He is no longer short on energy. Right. Happy day. Okay. Okay. And the second guy, third yeah. person, Cosmo. Tao. Tao gets to choose. A little. He goes first. He goes first. So uh, first off, he's going to come back in with a terrible minus two energy. Poor guy. Yeah, there's nothing poor about him. Uh, you put him, Tawu, right here. And we are going to cast a Something paralyzing else? terror. It's a blue, it's a yellow, and I am doing my dead best to uh, freak out Cosmo. Yes. One success. One success. More than that. Uh, let's see. Shield exclamation point, shield exclamation point. Um, I am going to immobilize Dart again. Oh. Unless you spend a tactic to negate the switch. Yes. She is not immobilized. That's that is but fine. But he is, right? Correct. Thank you. So Cosmo is immobilized, which is a shame because his best thing is his run around. Is that it for? Uh, that's going to be it friend? for Tawu. He can't really do anything else. Well, Cosmo's not going to move anywhere because he can't. 
So what he's going to do is start the supernova. And that's uh, all enemies within one? Provided the switch triggers. Mm. Normally it's just a normal attack, but the switch triggers, then both of your guys are burning, which is a del lovely, delicious oh, little state. Oh, that's a great state, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to supernova you first. We're going to be directly supernova-ing. Uh, so Prism's not even hurt yet, is she? Uh, Prism's not hurt. But she's also targeted. Marked, I mean. She is uh, marked. What so does that give me for a bonus? Uh, it doesn't really give you a bonus okay. in this situation. It's more then of a I matter will just of proceed to set you, on you don't need line of sight. So I'm attacking you you're with a black, red, You're specifically orange. targeting Prism. Is that correct? Nope. I'm going to be doing Tao Wu because he's so much easier. Now, I want to specify. Oh, but then he does his. This is very important because his switch is guaranteed to go right, off. Right. I just noticed that. And you will have to discard if he's the one defending. Then let's. Ah, that's an interesting. Interesting conundrum. He is a jerk, is really what it comes down to. Then here's what we're going to do. I suspect you want to go after Prism, and you're going to hope the switch goes off. Mm -hmm. He is immobilized. Tell him so fast. Strange, 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 strange. Here's what we're going to do. He is first going to do his gravitational slingshot. And that'll do puts prism over here, freeing up Tao. Cosmo now does a supernova on prism. Excellent. I have one strike and one block. You don't, don't take any damage, but both of you are on fire. So how many uh, successes do you have there? Uh, one. So I am going to go ahead and impose taunt uh, using her switch. I've actually got enough to do it twice, three times even. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, she's burning, but Cosmo and one, two, three, um, I do not require line of sight. Um, so They're both, both taunted? They're both taunted. Gotcha. And they must attack her right. when they're able. Which is fine, because Cosmo still has some points left. That's fine. So I don't mind attacking you again. So uh, that move only does burning, doesn't do damage? Uh, it did, but I only made one success and you had lots of shields. Ah, okay. No damage actually got through. But it still inflicted the burning status. Right, because that's the switch. Okay. Uh, now, did that hit Tao then? Yes, all adjacent enemies. Excellent. Oh, and you did put it there. Thank you. Yes, I did. I missed that. You are both burning. Uh, so I'm going to use two points H again. Okay. So if you want to make a roll your defense. Ooh, that time I got three successes. No defenses, three no points defenses. in on Prism. Right. Three points, that's going to that's gonna leave a mark. Uh, and you're already all on fire. Mm -hmm. He's got one more point left. So I'm going to Nebula and put down a smoke. I put down a smoke. Okay. And I also trigger, so I get another smoke. Smoke is fun. We're going to put one smoke here. And we're going to put one smoke anywhere within five. The only one who hasn't really gone is Prism. So I'm going to put the smoke on her. She's all smoky now. So it's sort of a, not quite a Stevie Nicks. Voice. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. And that will be it for Cosmo. Okay, so let's go to the final one. Uh, Dart versus, oh, Prism goes first. And Prism goes first. So the first thing we're going to do actually is play uh, Reset 2.0, remove all states from a single character in the hexadome. No. Oh. Oh, it actually gets That's worse. That's a great card. I, I, I've <laughs> actually got two no's in this. No's are, are I, great. I haven't got any. Yet. No is just a wonderful card. Oh, yeah, jerk. Um, okay. Which means she's still on fire. She is still Let's on fire. Let's do that burning thing. 
So uh, burning is actually. You've got the cover. Yes. So. Okay. We get to roll some dice. There's a chance the burning spreads. So targets affected by the state suffer a random quantity of damage uh, when the blue side of this token is revealed. So it's going to be at the end of her turn. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and she's at four energy. So we're just going to go ahead and do gamma radiation, which is an orange, uh, a blue, and a yellow. Okay. Just going for that red is not a red. Oh, that's a great card. It's, it's everything about it, that no, card that, is just that wonderful. No, that was an excellent time to hold it. You, you weren't using no. it too early. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. You know this is an attack. You should be rolling oh, your defense. Okay. Back. Well, sorry. What's uh, Cosmo. On Cosmo. Okay. Right. His defense is a green, a blue, and a yellow. Wow. He's got right. good so defense. Right. So I didn't really do too well here, so that it shouldn't be too hard. I got a shield, a negate. That negates everything. And, and one point comes back in on you. Yep. So uh, that's actually gonna be enough to send Prism to the infirmary. So I I end up having all the saints removed off of her the hard way. <laughs> the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll take a frag token for that. You and you will draw a card, please. And I'll even draw a card. Yes, you will. I'll take that card, especially because you make me discard them on a regular basis. Yes. That was prism, I think. That was prism. So uh, let's dark. go with dark. And now, does her taunt just go away since the target is gone? Uh, yes. They are no longer taunted. In which case, I can't see you to shoot you because of my convenient smoke. Well, you could always move. To oh, I intend him. to move. Um, I don't need to get here because I've already got the point. Right. Now, he could be putting the point somewhere else, so let's move to a good point-holding place and then shoot. So Dart is going to try to pull a sniper move on Luna. Yeah, the chances of that, right? Not reasonable. Actually, actually, Pavardi's in a much better... Mm, but I don't have enough points to do it. She's much more vulnerable, certainly. I think I'm going to do it this way. We are going to try to finish off Pavardi. You, I was going to say, you could also go now around. That is blocking line of sight. I don't think I've got correct. enough of a view on Pavardi, so she's going to have to spend two to move. Right. And then she'll have one shot, but I think it's worth it. So she's just going to back off a little bit because her camouflage will kick in at the end of the turn. And instead, she's going to shoot Pavardi. You're within two to seven, so you're within nice range here. Right. Uh, I'm going to use a red, a yellow, and a black. Green and a blue. The, the taunts have gone away. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I believe me, I'm aware of that. I just have no way of healing her, as far as I know. So I'm going to shoot Pavardi. Oh, I see. So the reflex damage might kill her off. I'm willing to take that risk. That uh, would be a good trade. So I've got... Now, you do have line of sight to me, so that doesn't count. That doesn't count either. But yeah, let's just go for it. Twang. I got a success and a shield. So, no, you only got a shield. Uh, yeah, I got well a shield in her. So I got it. So I got success. I do have a twitch. You are poisoned. That is a fun state. That's a good state to get on you. So now, unfortunately, there's nothing else I can go. That's the end of the go. Right, so specifically, poison. Service can target more. Let's go find that state. I believe it's I've got it right here. Targets affected by the state suffer one damage when the blue side of the token is revealed. Immediately, it gets removed. Yep, and it's one of the few that can be stacked. And it can be stacked. Plus, she's got an ability that removes it in exchange for damage type of thing. Mm -hmm. But that was it for Dark. Okay, so three uh, points to you, sir. I will take the lead. I will uh, draw you will one. You'll get the one. The underdog. So this is uh, actually going to be a little awkward for me because there's only one zone I can reasonably call, and that's going to have to be uh, three. So we're now in round four. Gotcha. We are moving up to round four. Correct. Three is the target hex. Yep. 
Okay, let us assemble our forces. Okay. Now this is going to be fun because I believe if you get to eight, um, that's an immediate victory. That'll be an immediate victory. Well, we'll see if it gets so there. It's far we'll enough we'll away. See. It's Cosmo's it's got a tough. shot, but I got to get rid of what's his name first. Right. Okay. So uh, prisms can go back over here. That seems familiar. Uh, so mm, I may have done that out of order. That's too late now. Keep on going. Are you sure? Yep. We haven't started. Yes, we have. Okay. Dart is indeed hidden. Yes. yes. She has camouflage and there's active. there's actually a... Um, oh, a there's a marker for it? marker for that, yes. I will put a status marker for... Oh, if here it is. Hidden. I was saying, if you give that a quick... That's pretty cool. I can't you, help it. If you give it a, a quick 90 degree turn, you'll see all the labels. Yes, well, I did so that they can see the labels. Oh, okay. So, That's fine. moving right along. Okay. First person's perspective. El Diablo. Prism. Prison appears behind El Diablo and crushes him. Uh, that is entirely possible, but that's not the one I'm worried about. She's going to go right here. Into the smoke. Into the smoke. Poof. She doesn't oh, necessarily hurt me, per se. So. Uh, no, you put on two smokes that Yeah, last the one here time. and the one there. This oh is the one okay. from before okay, 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 that okay. expired. So uh, first off, we're going to play uh, Reflection. Reflect one damage to all enemies within range one to two. Oh, nice. That's him. I'll take a damage. Uh, Cosmo's got how much health left? He now has three health left. Oof. Not great for me. Uh, and now she is just going to go ahead and attack Cosmo because that's really all she's good for. Um... So, if you'd like to make a defensive roll, please. From Cosmo, he yes. gets a red, no, this is unfortunately just a defensive roll, a blue, a green, and a yellow. I negate one of those, and I actually do two points of damage back to you. That is so hilarious. Okay. And I trigger a piece of smoke. Okay, unfortunately, I don't think I actually get to set off my own uh, trigger. It's my own switch. So, um, okay, that's it. So, Cinema Massacre, please. Two points in on Prism. Let's see. One, two. Okay, thank you. Is Pavardi currently taunted? Uh, Pavardi is currently taunted. Then I'll I'm just going to smack her. Because he likes smacking taunted people. Mm, well, yeah. I out of this negates that. No, it doesn't. This doesn't negate anything. Oh, it just automatically it gets it through. It cannot be countered by anything gotcha. except a critical. So those two mounts, those two mounts, I still get the one in. Okay, uh, she is going to go ahead and get a plus two to her initiative though. And take a point of damage. Switch. Yep. And she is not feeling good. I'm glad I spent that time healing her. So I'm going to follow up and try to hit you again. Oh. Since you are still taunted. How could she? Oh, never mind. Too late. And shields? Okay, actually, I'm going to negate that shield. Mm -hmm. I've got a shield to prevent that. Three points in. That's a uh, good. <sighs> okay, but at the same Dead time, she can actually move. So, you know, at least in that regard, she uh, she helped the team. She, she took one for did the team. her job. Yeah. Uh, he gets a frag token. I draw a card. Correct. And he's only got one point left, and nobody is in range of taunt. Uh, but he did regenerate that one point this turn. Yes. And he's done. Yeah. What if he can taunt himself? And then strike himself, because it's funny? Over to you. And I don't think he's a valid target for that, though. Okay, so uh, n number two. Dart. Tawu. So you as underdog get to choose. Okay. So I could go, or you could go. Or we could go together. 
One, two, three. So we're going to do um, Paralyzing Terror. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Well, you don't really pick him for anything else, do you? Because smoke's gone, as you indicated. So we're going to... Success. Two s he is success. re -immobilized. So, and uh, let's see. Again, this one should... Do I have an explanation point? Yes, yes I got you a shield. Do. Yes, so uh, Cosmo's going to be immobilized as well. I thought that's who he was immobilizing. No, he was immobilizing. Ah, dark. okay. Now you What's can the range on his mobilize. Uh, one to four. Four. Oh Don't wow. Don't need range sight. Now that said, mm -hmm. you can discard a tactics card to, to prevent keep Cosmos. Him keep Cosmo mobile. Now he got hit by it last turn, so he's already immobilized. So there's no real reason to bother doing so. I'm freshening your snapple. I don't know. Ah, yeah. Tanganya. Tanganya. Yeah, it's a fun little teleport. Ah, thing. I see why. Yeah, that is cool. But anyway, Dart is now immobile. Okay, so that's two. Um, in the hallucinations, we're just going to go ahead and put a smoke token right here. Give me a success. I need to roll two blues. Blue and blue. Success. Yep. So that kind of gives me a little bit of defense there. And that's going to have to be it for Dawu. Dart can't see Dawu anymore. She's immobile, but she can see Prism. Prism is uh, in smoke. Oh, that's right. And that stuff don't go away until uh, Cosmo goes again. So if anyone from Corvus Belly is watching, we would really appreciate uh, versions of the cards about <laughs> this size. <laughs> Just saying, some of us are a little bit older and our eyes are not what they used to be. Um, if you can print it on a plain paper, uh, non-reflective, doesn't have that gloss uh, to it, that'd that be great. Burns. Ta oh, he does, doesn't he? So we're going to flip that over uh, and the burning states. So we're going to roll in orange, and that will determine his fate. Yes! That's okay, the good one. He's going to take one damage. And? He is also going to keep a burning, keep a new burning. burning. Yeah, so. Um, so one point of damage on him. We've, we, we've got a, uh, a lot of uh, War Machine players in our group. Now, the green, I believe, so doesn't need line of sight, right? Yes, sir. Attack. Uh, they they do the trick is is the light causes glare. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, so, <laughs> so, do the greens <laughs> not require line of sight? Uh, it depends on the green. Oh, it would so specify. Yeah. So, uh, what's the? It green just says remove state token on the target. Dendronanides, right. range is zero to five. Okay, so because the range is in a black hexagon, mm -hmm. it requires line of sight. So the orange, the red range does not require line Correct. of sight. Correct. So she cannot do anything at all this go. Uh, well, she, she is done. could do a trade-off, but that's not going to work in her favor. What do you mean? Let me see. I can't move and I have no targets. Right, but you also have, uh, you would not want to do this, but uh, remove a state token so you could actually remove the immobilizer at the cost oh, of one on damage. Herself, it's which zero, would kill zero her. to five. You don't want to do it in it would this kill case. Her. Uh, but situationally, that could be useful. Very situationally. So. Well then, I guess she's just done. Okay, so. Uh, she go does ahead. absolutely nothing. Right, flip over that immobilize token. But she is hidden again. Turn. Yeah, she is hidden again. And she won't be immobile next go. Okay. Next up, are we betting it's Hannibal? Could be Cosmo. Right yes. Then he gets Hannibal. Yeah, that's her. Hannibal. Pavardi. Pavardi um, whizzes and whirs and yeah, she's just just sitting there. She's in the infirmary, so go ahead. I can't get all the way there. No, you can't. So 
Okay, we might as well do it that way then. He's just going to spend two points to do a normal move of four. And then he's going to use the program strategy to have him do a supernova. Great move. Red, black, and blue. And this will be targeting who? Targeting... Might as well see if I can squish Prism. Okay. Targeting so Prism. No, that's perfectly valid. You negate this. Right. Well, that was terrible. Uh, well, it's the uh, critical. It was yeah. Like you would be wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll those two dice. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna leave. And that gets shuffled. Ah. Yes, it does. So it'll stay there. Anyway, this is re-rolling those two. Uh, I did get a hit on you. Excellent. One point on Prism. Okay, so she is darn close to going back to the infirmary. And unfortunately, you negated the exclamation point, so I do not set those two on fire. Again. Uh, I think that's it for Hannibal. Okay. That is it so for Hannibal. And Pavardi can't go, so... On to the last one. Guess who? Cosmo versus See, Major I was hoping Luna. to use her to remove the immobilized. Unfortunately, well, of you course. can't go anywhere. So Major Luna's going to get the point. One, two, three, four, five, six. She has to run, but she can get there. Yes. Uh, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Uh, that's... And then Cosmo. All she's Cosmo is just going to start supernovaing his butt off. Or hopefully his but their his butt His butt buttocks. Off. So, one supernova on Prism. I need to shuffle my, my remainder deck. Remind me. Yep. Shuffle your remainder deck. Thank you. So, supernova ring Prism. One success. I'm sorry, were you defending something? I couldn't hear that. You defended uh, my one shield blocks your one success. Okay, so, um, but I did get a switch, so we do set you on fire. Okay. No, he's immobile. Um, I am going to taunt you. Otherwise, yeah, he would have made a run I'm going to use her switch to taunt Cosmo. Prism? Yes. That's fine. I'm about to try to hit you again anyway. So how much damage should I take? Uh, nothing. We bounced. Nothing. We bounced. Okay. But you are on uh, fire. That uh, triggered you go. You're on fire. Fire. Okay. Oh, and burning stack, don't they? Yes, it does. He gets another burning. Uh, oh, so it's to all both adjacent. Of them? Yes. I need more burning tokens. You need more burning tokens? More burning tokens. So. Okay, now he's going to supernova a second time. And I need one more for him, actually. Uh, no, she wasn't burning before. She oh. got one, he now has two. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Two hits, two defenses. Uh, two hits coming in. I have one defense. I will take the one. Okay. Is burning stacks? So Let's make sure burning stacks. Uh, burning does stack. Okay, well then you're going to all get a third, another so round of burning. So one, two, three, four. And the f any direct damage? Uh, two bounced by your two. Okay, so, so. I take one and you get more burning tokens. One to three. One to three. Uh, I'm going to switch um, off. Okay. So it's uh, one shield. Okay, this is. Yeah, so I'm going to spend this to taunt her. Dart is taunted. Right. Which leaves me one shield, but the two exclamation points I can use to get rid of a uh, success. So it's still. Yeah. That's still status still quo. No damage. Okay. And that I'm burning again? Uh, yes, and the burning did happen again. So, so I'll need so another burning token. A couple more burnings for all my friends. And, but I didn't do uh, get any more damage applied to me, though. Right. Correct. Okay. And I believe that's the end of the round. And you get three for yours. Hmm. Yeah, this is really a... I think this is probably the swingiest game we've had so We're far. We're having a great time here. So, oh, no, I'm loving it. Okay, but this is now moving into <laughs> round... Okay, so uh, do you draw your tactics card I for the end of the round? I will draw my tactic card. And I'm going to draw round. one, and Oops, I'm drawing. Except I need to shuffle these. Kelly, oh, you forgot to sorry. remind me to shuffle my cards. I told you already. <laughs> Would you like to you cut? Because I've only got like four. So I draw one. 
It's a, a way of seeing uh, the D20 described. It's very swingy because it's not a bell okay. curve. Equal probabilities of everything. So we're at the stage so far. We're having a good time here. No, I am quite enjoying myself. So uh, first off. Oh, Pavardi oh. died. She's lost all of her tokens. This goes over. So this is the final turn, correct? Yes, this, this is round is. five. We actually uh, and managed it's down to, to the wire. This is great. Yeah, so so I'm going to declare location six as the objective. Oh, that's rude. Thank you. I Thank would you do very the much. I would do the same thing. <laughs> so. Uh, it did move. It went to uh, Mr. Ben there. That's why I was determining where to go. <laughs> Let's just do it like that. Maybe not the best way, but that's the way we're doing it. So assuming uh, Cosmo moves out, he would do a Free strike, uh, 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 disengage, disengage from both of you. Well, it uh, it's from one of us, but I decide which one, and oh. there's going to be a black die bonus. Gotcha. I'm willing to risk it. No, that's a, a very good uh, move. Are we ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Prism. Prism's going to go first. And do her best to smudge Cosmo. Mm -hmm. And is he taunted still? Uh, Cosmo yes. is taunted at the moment, yes. Okay. So first off, what I am going to do is I'm going to play advanced uh, surgery, remove all states from a single character in the bench, ah. which will be Pavarti. Naturally. Naturally. So we're going to go ahead and discard that. Uh, next, um, let's see, her attack is really quite spectacular in how pitiful its range is. It's one to two. That's, she's still within range. Yeah, it's it's utterly fantastic. In fact, it's so great, I could go after Cosmo. That would be a perfectly valid thing to do right now. In fact, he's the only target. So, uh, now, she is not taunted. Uh, let's see. So the range is one to two. Yep. And the problem being, of course, I need line of sight. So. Okay, I guess we're going to have to go ahead and do that then. So we can do Cosmo a is ready yellow, to go. orange, and a blue. Oh, except the smokes went away at the beginning of Cosmos, at, on Cosmos' go, at the end of the last go. So those are gone. You oh, are not really? in smoke. You do have line of sight. Oh, that does change something then. You may do something different. Yes, uh, I'm going to use holographic uh, sight. This action has its maximum range increased by two until the end of its resolution. Okay. I have line of sight on Dart. Sure. Dart, is Dart has camouflage. Never mind. Okay, we're just going to, we're not going to play that, and we're going to go after Cosmo. Let's hold on to that card. Okay. Uh, Cosmo's defense, defense is a blue, a green, and a yellow. Okay. I got one shield, one star. That was simply <laughs> Now I'm going to plant the smoke. Okay, so uh, these are going to flip over. So I'm going to have to make uh, two burning rolls. Oh, that's right. Two oranges. One point of damage. Okay, which is enough to kill her, which means... We'll take that. Um, after Prism receives damage, but before sending her to the infirmary, impose the Dazzle State on all taunted enemies. Which would be those two. Yep, and inflict one damage to all dazzled enemies. Ah. So they'll each take one point of damage, which kills off Dart. Bye, Dart. Bye, Dart. Bye, she Dart. never got to go this turn. I'm crying for you. Not really. And he took a point of damage. Uh, correct. Uh, but he also gets a frag. Yep, he got a frag. Oh, you already got a frag? You draw your tactics. Uh, I, ooh, and I will draw a tactic. Okay, draw your tactics, sir. So uh, she went out in a uh, blaze, blaze of, of glory, glory, as it yeah. were. So <laughs> uh, 
I suspect Senior Massacre is going to make a uh, run for the border there. Uh, Senior Massacre makes a run for the end zone. One, two, three, four. We're going to have to do it as a full run. Five, six, seven, eight. And he starts dancing. Yeah, Refraction is the uh, first time using it, so that's like... I ha I've actually had that since the beginning <laughs> of the game. That was Massacre. That was Massacre. Ready? Yep. Flip. Cosmo. Major Luna is going to come around one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's see. If I come here, I think I've got line of sight. Yeah. So that's two spins. We and are. You get your black for the cover, which you turn into an orange. Yeah, so that's going to be a, a red, an orange, an orange. Animal's one got a success. blue to green. I'm going to add a dodge to add a blue. And we're targeting okay. ha Hannibal. Cosmo uses a trigger and swaps place with Hannibal. You're now no. shooting Cosmo. Oh, no! <laughs> there's the no. We were wondering about the no. no there's okay. there's we knew it was no. coming. We, yes. Okay, so Hannibal gets a blue and a green. Okay, so I'm starting off with uh, one success. Four, five points in kills him utterly. Okay. Yes, sir. Goodbye. Say goodbye to Hannibal. Goodbye. So I'm going to draw a tactics card. I'm going to get a frag token. Wow. This was Dart's special ability. This was Hannibal's special ability. They're not in the game anymore. So um, fortunately, it's irrelevant. Yes, and so now it'll be a uh, Cosmo's turn. Cosmo. You know, I just realized something, Ben. I don't think mm -hmm. I've been keeping up with all my frags. Uh, I think you should have at least three. I know you've got two here, okay. and we just got these, so I think you're up to four, because you just got four. two kills here. Okay. Cosmo. I know it. It, it wouldn't be so bad, except it's so good reminding him to do it. I'm trying to see if I can. Oh, Sam. Uh, it all depends on, I believe, Pavardi is going to be able to port in here or here and make a run for it. Right. So my job is, what can I do to prevent that since Cosmo is my last guy on the board? Uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not going to help. <laughs> it's all Pavardi. That's going to end in a tie. Still gonna end in a tie. Oh, at the end of his turn, the smoke goes away. Here, make nice go. The smoke goes away at the beginning of the creator's turn. Right. Well, there's nothing else he can do. It's just continue to beat on you guys. Okay, we're gonna right. see if we can finish off Tutankhamen here. Okay. So it's a red, a blue, and a black. And we're gonna be smacking on Tatsuo. Uh, Tawu? Yes. Are you sure? Oh wait, actually, she. Oh, that's true. Why yeah, not? she's supposed to be that. Yeah, you have to do Tao. Yeah, he's yeah well, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. <laughs> so that means. Five into the jersey. Correct. Uh, but since she's dead, the taunt goes away. Right. So actually, now he could. You no, because he's still gonna have. To, he's gonna have to get two disengage rolls. Actually, that's for him. That's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Okay, he's going to be triggering his meteoric charge. Okay. You're going to get two disengages on him. Disengage number one as he tries to get into that hex. Okay, well, here's the fun thing. Um, Tao Wu can't stop you from disengaging, but you're going to have to throw away a tactics card each time. I will throw away two deck tactics cards cheerfully. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're so... <sighs> We are so close to the end of the game and that we're just going to go ahead and play this out. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and say it, it's just. I think I got gotcha. you. Yeah.
So he went. Next turn would have been you Gavardi. Have two free goes. Right. So she would have come in. Um, well, in this case. Do it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. And my last turn would have been Tao Wu, who uh, simply can't go that far. He does goes he have any one, to, like, two, three, four, five, six. But does he have any abilities like pushing out of the zone or anything like that? Mm. No, I would need a smoke there. So moving two would, uh, twice would cost four. Doing anything to get smoke there would get cost one, then I won't be able to do anything at all. That's it. So, no, uh, you are going to get two points of that. You'll hit eight. Uh, roll three dice for the burning uh, Tetsuo. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ten Wu. Uh, Tao Wu? Tao oh, Wu. Oh, got three burnings on him. Yes, he is uh, literally as good as dead. Uh, he only has two health. It's really just academic at this and point. He roasts. Uh, he roasts utterly. So, uh, yeah, if you like a. Chinese pig? Well, I, I guess he's uh, wow. as close as we're gonna get it. That was that was a great that game. Was I was I was I was battle. trying my best to go for the tie at that point. Yeah, I I didn't so think if I if she hadn't been gone, I wouldn't. Yeah, be able if to get I and th that was my and uh, I didn't my realize fault. he doesn't I get a I, I, I didn't take uh, her off. Right. And so that was my fault. Wow. So, but uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Roadrunner, <laughs> we uh, hopefully that wasn't too embarrassing. We uh, yeah. mess, messed up a lot less than usual. Um, that was right so down to the wire. That was we were tied no, all the way uh, through. That was, that was great. Uh, game. This worked out a lot better than I was expecting it to, uh, particularly because two of the characters I've not used before. That, that Tao Wu is uh, Interesting. Oh, he, he he's absolutely is. Yeah, he's a definitely a control thing. But I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to use Dark Moor. She wasn't able to use a lot of her like the, her poison shenanigans right. and things like that. But um, I could see her being utterly fantastic against some of the harder characters. I would definitely like to give her a try. So, but no, this uh, this worked out well. Uh, Senior Massacre can be great fun. <laughs> yeah, um, it is I mean very if much you fun. had him and say Maximus on the same team, there's that there's gives you yeah, a lot there's more a lot of intercharacter shenanigans. Too. I like Hannibal so with him too. That worked pretty Hannibal well. makes he works a lot of people, he yeah. makes everyone better. Uh, well, but thank you for joining us for today's yeah, stream. So. Uh, cool. It was a near thing and a good fun one. I believe next week is going to be back to a privateer press stream. Right. Uh, but we're going to be doing reviews of other games like Sixteen Samurai and stuff like that as well. Right. So right. hopefully you guys will be joining us and tuning in. Well, review, let's play uh, something. All of the above. I don't know. Uh, all of the above. We've done some play testing so. and it's a lot of fun. Good. I'm so thank you all, and have a good weekend. Thank you.